Blue Jays hosting the A's, and the A's are plus 132 on the money line. The Blue Jays are minus 156. The over-under is eight and a half runs. The A's getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 164, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Blue Jays laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 136, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. Sears pitched once against the Blue Jays last year. Five innings, one run, one earned. They won 5-2. He struck out three. Bassett pitched once against the A's this year. Eight innings, one run, one earned. They lost that game 2-1 in Oakland, and he struck out eight. Weather will not be a factor because of the dome. Head-to-head, -head, the Blue Jays are 7-3. The home team's 5-5. Five five. The favorite is 7-3 on the money line. The favorite winning by multiple runs on the run line, laying a run and a half is 6-4. There have been three one-run games in their last 10. And the under is hitting their last two. The under is 5-4-1. And, and the under at 8.5 runs is 6-4. The A's are 4-1 in Sears' last five starts. Five and two-thirds innings pitched, 5.4 hits, 2.4 runs, two of which were earned, six strikeouts, 0.8 walks, 0.8 home runs, 93.4 pitches per game, and 16.1 pitches per inning. And Sears is one of the few pitchers for the A's that I actually do trust. For Bassett, they're two and three in his last five starts. The under is hitting his last two, but the over is three and two. Five and a third innings pitched, 5.8 hits, 3.6 earned runs, six strikeouts, 1.8 walks, one home run per game. He's given up home runs in four consecutive starts, 96.2 pitches per game, 18 pitches per inning. The A's are four and six in their last 10, two and two in their last four, six runs, five runs, four runs, one run. One run and a loss, three runs and a win, one run and a loss, one run and a win. For the Blue Jays, two and two in their last four. Ten runs, 13 runs, four runs, one run. Three runs and a loss, seven runs and a win, three runs and a win, and then shut out and a loss today. I'm going to take my shot here with the A's. I'll take the A's with the money line. I will take the A's getting the runs, and I'm going to go under the eight and a half. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.